this is another book about homes around the world. Aluka lives in Uganda. There is a thick wall of sticks all around his homestead. He lives there with all his relatives and he says, I have to crouch down to get in. This is the door to go inside his homestead. This is Sidinha outside her long house in Brazil. It is made from earth on a wooden frame. Small windows keep it cool on hot days. She says, my house is by the football pitch. And this is the way in. Sarah lives near the North Pole in Alaska, part of the United States of America. It is very snowy. Her house keeps her warm in the icy climate. And she says, my dad has to shovel the snow to open the door. Can you see the snow is right here? And this is the door. Sin's front door leads right into the hillside. Her home has been carved from the rock. She lives in Shanaxi province in China. And she says, my wall, the walls of my house are very strong because it's on a hill. And here's the door to come in. Victoria lives in a block of flats in London, the capital city of England in the United Kingdom. There are buzzers at the front of the building so families can open the door without leaving their homes. And she says, I like playing in the gardens outside our flat. And this is the way in. And here are the buzzers. Zzzt, zzzt. This is Chan Thong with her mum and her sister outside their house on stilts in Cambodia. The roof is made from palm leaves. And she says, even when it floods, our house on stilts stays dry. And you see it's high on the stilts. You have to go up this ladder to go in. Kari's family live in a tent covered with animal skins. Their reindeer give them meat to eat and milk to drink. They have settled in a national park near Kofsko Lake in Mongolia. And he says, our tent is warm when the weather is cold. And this is the way in here. This little building is one of the Bharmal's family rooms. There are more rooms further around the wall. The family lives in Rajasthan, India. And they say it only rains once or twice a year where we live. Quite a dry place then. And here is the way in. Yanni and his family all live in a caravan that is pulled from place to place by their horses. Sometimes lots of Roma families travel together along the roads in Romania. And he says, our caravan is our home wherever we stop. Malek, Bulbabur and Gazbando, Gazbano are from Pakistan. Their homes are made from tree branches bent over and covered in mud. And he says, we live on a sand dune mountain. I think here's the door. And here. Fatima's camel waits patiently outside a house made out of clay. 
She lives in a village in Mauritania with lots of other families. My camel doesn't mind the hot sun, but I like to stay cool. And there she is by the door. And we found about all these children living all over the world in different houses.